Hello everyone, Ellie Diecast. I've also got Andrew here. Say hi. Hi. And um, we haven't made a video about the cars that we found in a while. And we just got back from a trip and we picked up some cars. And what I thought I'd do is I'd just show the week's worth of cars. And if this works, this might be an easier way to, to do things because my schedule's changed a little bit and I'm not able to do the little separate videos and I've been spending my time doing the custom videos. So um, I'm going to back up here and we're going to wing around to the workshop back over here behind here. And what I wanted to do real quickly is point out some of the customs we're working on. And uh, you can follow these on the Facebook page if you would like, because um, that's usually where I'm updating everything. And um, real quickly, these are some quick customs. So these probably won't end up for sale. These are going to end up in my own collection. This one is a Jada Toys. It's a Dub City car. And um, all I did was paint it flat black. And I think I'm going to leave it flat back if I get a decent shot. It's not put together yet. You can see it's lifting up. But this one will be done probably tomorrow. Let's get a focus shot on it. There we go. And it's just flat black. Nothing fancy with that one. This one's kind of fun. This was a, a mod, mod rod. I believe that's a mod rod. Matchbox car. Super fast. And... Those that follow me on Facebook know that I what I really collect are the super fast cars. The Hot Wheels are kind of a means to an end for me for the super fast cars. This guy's missing his engine, and I guess you'll have to wait till the next video to see it done. I have the engine, but it's drying up, up above here. But what I did was I found this mod rod in yellow, and I think, and I know somebody will correct me if I'm wrong with the super fast cars, but that Scorpion logo was on the mod rods. Uh, there was a release in England, I think, that had that Scorpion logo. And that particular logo is really rare. And this mod rod was just trashed when I found it. So I cleaned up the windshield. I repainted it yellow. And uh, like I said, I, I took the engine off. It needed a little bit of repair, so it's in repair. And I decided instead of putting back the original Tampo, I'd put on that hard to find Scorpion Tampo, so I I uh, put it through Illustrator, made my own Scorpion Tampo, put it on there, and uh, I think this one's going to be cool. This will end up in my collection. Wheels are still in pretty good shape on it. So, and this guy, for anybody that's been in diecast for more than about three weeks, you'll recognize this one. It's the Burma uh, super fast car. Get the white there. White's a little weird. And this guy was another one that when I got it, it was trashed. We got this at the Riverside Hot Wheelers show, and it was a mess. But uh, I repainted it. The windows were in good shape, and um, it's missing its sticker, and so I'm going to make my own. So that's all I have left to do on this guy. And he will go in my collection. I can't get him back together, though. Hard to do with one hand. There we go. And uh, he rolls just great. So he is going in my collection as well. Also down here, um, if, again, if you've been following the videos, you know we sent one of these Bangles power panels to Shad Juice. This is, I'm experimenting with making the logos for the NFL teams with these kind of detailed um, water slide graphics, water slide tempos, and um, we have ones for the side which are over here and you can see what the tampos look like before I cut them down that's both sides of them right there those get cut down and they will go on the sides and those should be done by next week and these uh, two of them are going on sale on eBay and the one that was sent the shad juice the will be the only one with the trailer so he has the chase piece <laughs> I'll keep one we will sell two so keep an eye out for that again you can follow it on the Facebook page so let's head over here and um, I'm gonna get my camera set up here sorry for the thumping around with the sound here we got a separate microphone okay and Let's get this a little bit higher. We got a little segment here by Andrew. If I can find my... 
my setup here is not good for angry birds okay so what are the difference in our angry birds i'm going to move around here as you talk they have different wheels they have different wheels don't they is that the only difference yeah there's a few differences in the cards you can see up above the these are the new ones right mm -hmm. and they have the open five spokes it's kind of hard to see there but those are open five spokes those over here are if the I get old my, cards. those are the old ones and they have the the solid spot five spokes right mm -hmm. that's about the only difference you can see 2012 and over here it doesn't have the name and i saw something different about the logo Yep, they have, let me go up here, what's different about them? One has the racers and one doesn't. That's right, the 2012s don't have the racers and the new ones do. Right up there and not there. So, you probably won't see the 2012s on the pegs. They disappeared fairly quickly. Um, so, these guys here with the closed, whoops, with the closed spokes are kind of hard to find these guys uh, you probably won't find those that's 2012 but these guys are in the B A B they were in the A case I think what are these these are C case because oh, I just got these today so these are C case but I think they were in A and B case or at least B case so you'll find these if you're looking for Christmas gifts you'll find those on the pegs with the open wheels those those are the new ones. All right. So let's put those aside. Um, next, we've got, um, real quickly, let me put those aside. We, uh, we went to the Riverside Hot Wheels show. And not everything back here we picked up there. But I did pick up a bunch of Johnny Lightning cars. Like this one here. This one is a, is this Johnny Lightning? This is a, uh, that's not a Johnny Lightning, but I don't know what he is. Oh, he's a racing champion. Um, muscle Machine, Johnny Lightning, racing champions. And we got a whole bunch. And I'm going to just kind of thump the little thing up here. We got all of these. <laughs> and not all of these are Johnny Lightning. A lot of these are Dub Cities racing champions but we got these for mainly for the rims i don't like the wheels on them they tend to be pretty pretty thin these aren't bad but they tend to be really kind of thin but uh i really like the rims this one's really cool this one was a johnny lightning i believe yeah this guy may actually get kept but the rest of these are probably going to get all chewed up for Customs. This one's a Johnny Lightning too. So they're not making Johnny Lightnings anymore, but I sure do like the rims that they put on Johnny Lightning. So we're going to keep those rims. So all of these cool little cars here we got for less than a dollar each. Most of them I got for 25 cents. So if you do have a little car show in your area, Make sure you go because you just never know what people are selling at the car show. We sure get some good deals. That's it. That one was at the Riverside Hot Wheelers show, which was, I think, two weekends or last weekend ago. So uh, next are these. We found a whole bunch of stuff this last week. Pull this guy into frame. We'll get this guy. Push that down and get him in the frame here and what we found we were in Arizona this last week we found some uh, Tonkas and I've seen these before I've never paid too much attention to them can you get your crane we'll show them an old one and um, we found them uh, at a Walmart and they had a bunch of them they had the uh, what are these the Strike Force Team Tonkas. And we got them, uh, Andrew wanted one, so we picked up two or three. I think we got, we got you two the first time, huh? The tank and the, the little transportation vehicle. Mm -hmm. 
And um, they were like $3.50, which was a great buy. I think they're usually about $5 out here in California. And they're hard to find, so I never really paid any attention to them. And um, we went back uh, the next day to pick out some more. And due to a whole bunch of confusion on Walmart's part, because they wouldn't ring up, they didn't seem to be in the computer, uh, the lady gave all of them to us for $3.50 or $3.29, I think it was. And some of them were upwards to $5. I know they were more than that, but she couldn't ring them up for any more than that. And she got permission from her manager and they rang them up and gave them to us. So I really should have picked up more. But Andrew picked up this one. We'll start with this guy. And this little uh, horse trailer one is part of the... What is this guy? Pickup. The Pickup Series. Diecast Bodies. Yeah, the Pickup Series. And uh, this guy is part of this series. So I'll kind of get them all into view there. Um, and you can see it is that one right there. And I got that one. We didn't get too many of these. They had all of them. Uh, but these usually run about uh, $8 here in California. And we got them for a lot cheaper than that. So um, that was Andrew's pickup truck. It's and got it this also cool has little rubber tires. Yeah, and it's got these really, they're, they're almost rubber. They're, they will come off for the customizers out there. They will come off. And they're much more... Like, do I have a matchbox car here? Out of all these, I have to have a matchbox car. Here we go. Here, we got a matchbox car. All I can find are tuned matchbox cars. Here we go. Here's a matchbox car in comparison. And the scale's a little off. They're supposed to both be 164. Look at the detail on this. It's got these cool little front pieces. It's got a lot of detail. But look at the tires on that thing. Look at them compared to the... Uh, the the Hot Wheels. And that's pretty big. I don't have one here. Here's a, uh, this is a uh, Racing Champions. And you can see the difference in the tires. And again, these tires will come off. I don't want to pull them off, but they will come off. So we got that guy. Drive him off here with his horse. He goes over here. And um, Andrew wanted to show this one. Did you want to say something about this guy? No, I thought that was the one you wanted to talk about. Oh, what do you want to say? And the bottom also moves. So yeah. This is an old Tonka. Uh, this is when they sold them in the same packaging as the um, Johnny Lightnings and Matchbox. And, and the uh, Scooper also moves. Yeah. This one, you can see the difference in scale with these. So the new Tonkas are really a lot larger than the old ones, at least scale-wise. But I really like these new ones. The new ones are really cool. We'll get to the spaceship. So let's look at some of these new Tonkas. Here's this little cherry picker truck. Really cool. I mean, everything moves on this slick it stays put it's got all sorts of little articulation I haven't really looked at it too much but they do not have inside so they don't have interior pieces that's one place they're saving money but I think that's really a cool little truck that's pretty cool um, and we've got some others so let's go through these real quick let's get a little stand up here we'll show you all of them we got we got, whoa, they're so big, they do not fit into my view here. Whoa, that's almost good. I'm set up for, there we go. Okay, so fire truck. This one is part of the uh, Metal Bodies series. Here you can see the back, all the different choices. These do tend to come in two colors each. I know, like, I've seen the tow truck in a different color, the cement mixer in a different color, the tanker truck I've seen in green, 
This one, the, the cherry picker comes in yellow. So I don't know if all of them are in different color, but uh, some of them are. You can hand me those. You want to hand me the next one? This is part of the Strike Force series. Uh, they're, they had some of these. Andrew was smart and grabbed them when he saw them. By the time I got back and saw them, they were out of them. This one, you can see on the back, they have uh, kind of a desert storm. This one's called Desert Defenders. They're the same trucks in each series. This is the Jungle Brigade, the green ones. But they change the tampos and the color on them. Uh, Andrew got this one. This one's really cool. We just couldn't find it for the video. It's still stuck in luggage somewhere. He also got this tank. They were out of these two by the time I went back. But, again, pretty cool little vehicle. Assault LTV, Jungle Brigade. All right, next one. Oh, not that one. One of those. We'll get to that guy. we got to hurry this video along or our weekly updates are going to go too long. Here's the heavy front end loader. We've got the ambulance. This one was one of my favorites, the sanitation truck. I have not opened that one. I don't know how it works yet. This is another one of the Strike Force series, Desert Brigade, the Fortified Transport, the Defender. All these pieces on top, by the way, move around. Here's another one I'm looking forward to opening, the tow truck. I have seen that one in different colors. This one with the biggest tires I've ever seen. That one is the heavy dump truck. And I believe these tires are, those look plastic. So we'll have to see when we open them. By the way, the tires on this one are plastic, but it's got the double tires in the back. Those are plastic. This one, the pickup truck, those are rubber. So I'm not sure how they decide which one, which ones get which tire. And then we've also got this double set here with the ATV loader and we'll kind of back up so we can get that guy all in frame but that one's the uh, pickup truck i know this pickup truck's got rubber tires and uh, the little atv um, carrier on the back all right then we found this guy which really isn't that hard to find but i was excited and it's one of the m2s and this one is the uh, limited production worldwide. Get that in the frame. There we go. Um, 6,000 pieces, which, by the way, is not all that limited. <laughs> but it um, has the uh, Ford Mustang, the 2x2 uh, two two Fastback, and the Ford Mustang Boss in it. It's kind of hard to see them there. This one came in purple and... Do you happen to remember the other color of this? It was orange, wasn't it? You know, it was purple and orange, and I got the red one. Okay, so there you go. The other ones, as far as I know, had different cars in them, but they all looked very similar. So there we go. All right, very excited about that one too. All right, and then spaceship. Yeah, your spaceship. That's right. Andrew wanted to share his spaceship on the way out. And that was this one. And this one was a, do you remember what it was? A matchbox. It's a matchbox, right? And it was part of the airplane the series. The matchbox. Yeah, it's brand new ones. At least brand new that we've seen. And the little fan moves. It does. Yeah, Here, let's get it spinning. It's not going to look like it's really spinning on the video there. <laughs> there you go. But, yeah, cool little spaceship. He was excited about the cool little spaceship. So, I think that is about it for this video. We'll try to do more of these. I've been doing more on the custom videos than I have the... Um, the, the